Growers are producing enough food for the planet, but the challenge is getting it to the table. Even though crops and meat production have nearly doubled over the last 20 years, the number of people going hungry is growing. And they experience hunger because they don't have equitable access to food. But Quad City Area organizations are working to change that. Take a look. Riverbend Food Bank uh, serves five counties in Iowa, 18 counties in Illinois. And in that uh, service area, there's about uh, 125,000 people that are food insecure. We know that about one in five children are food insecure in our service area, one in seven adults. We distribute 20 million pounds of food a year. That equates to about uh, 16 and a half million meals per year over a uh, service area that encompasses uh, just over a million people. The work that we do here at Riverbend Food Bank could not be done without uh, the help of the community. And certainly John Deere leads the way uh, in that support. It's really important for John Deere to make sure that everyone has food on their table. And we do this by honoring our farmers, our growers, our ranchers. They are producing enough food to feed everyone on, in the world, yet a third of our food goes to waste each year. Riverbend Food Bank is working directly with our farmers, our customers, to help procure this food and save this food and get this nutrition into the hands of our neighbors. We saw the farm crisis happen and people struggle to make ends meet in their early 80s. We knew we needed to do more, and that is when we invested in Riverbend Food Bank, and they have been here ever since, supporting our community. We saw later in early 2007, 2008, really our worst economic crisis we have faced since the Great Depression, and Riverbend Food Bank was here to support our neighbors. We then most recently saw with COVID, literally our lines double overnight. And again, Riverbend Food Bank is here to be a repository to offer this nutritious food when people need it the most. And you think about even when we face natural disasters, like when our levee broke or we have flooding, or we saw the derecho and our electricity was out for four days. The first thing that goes is our food and people need the support of Riverbend Food Bank during those times to get food and water. So for us, it's really important um, that we do have a variety of hunger relief partners throughout our 23 counties uh, that we can get into the small communities or the uh, large cities to be able to feed people that are facing food insecurity. Those could be church organizations, those could be community centers and schools, uh, and we, we deliver to them and they also pick up uh, food from us on a consistent basis. And in the food bank lines is single mothers raising two kids while working but can't make ends meet, or people retired on um, you know, social security and they can't keep up with the rising inflation, or people on medical disability. And Riverbend Food Bank is here to fill a void that needs to be met with people in our community. But what we are seeing now is a decrease in population in our service area by about a half of 1%. But we are seeing an increase in the number of people who are considered food insecure uh, by almost 30%. You know, we've all seen this inflation hit each and every one of us when we go into the grocery store and we go fill our car up with gas and, and we see these rising costs. And there's so many people that are working or on fixed incomes that just can't keep up with the inflation. And Riverbend Food Bank is here to support our neighbors. Our organization could not exist without volunteers. Uh, the last three years we've averaged uh, distributing over 20 million pounds of food. We have 40 employees. Without the 2,000 plus volunteers and the 20,000 hours of volunteer service that they provide to us, we would certainly be unable to sustain that type of volume.
We have hundreds of John Deere employees volunteering each and every year to River Bend Food Bank and helping in the pantry systems and delivering the meals and helping put food boxes in cars and in trunks. And we have logged over 5,000 hours um, volunteering for River Bend Food Bank. Our employees actually broke a record just this year of recording over 300,000 volunteer hours to give back to our communities. Um, it's something that it, it is in each of us to want to make sure that our employees do well, and we do that by helping. And when you think about John Deere, the man John Deere himself, he helped start the YMCA in our headquarters community. He served as the mayor of Moline. He was an outspoken abolitionist, and he really instilled in all of us as John Deere employees a sense to give back to community. And I would like to think that he would be really proud of our efforts today to help end hunger and give back so generously here in the Quad Cities. Um, when you talk about a community that cares for one another, um, you're talking about the Quad City community. Whatever the situation has been, whenever we have asked, whether it's individuals, corporations, um, or community organizations in the Quad Cities, the response has always been yes. We want to support Riverbend Food Bank. We want to a healthy, uh, well-functioning, uh, supportive community to live and work in. So for 187 years, John Deere has been committed to helping end hunger, and we have been here in the Quad Cities, and we look forward to continuing that journey and working with River Bend Food Bank and our nonprofits.